at a very pivotal moment in our country's energy history. And I think this year's theme, Capital for Accelerated Momentum, really emphasizes both the urgency and the opportunity for Canada. So south of the border, obviously, we're seeing a lot of shifts in U.S. policy and around the world in response, a ramping up of CCUS development. Here in Canada, we're so different. Uh, we have really strong federal backing from Minister Hodgson, who uh, is really embracing Canada's dual identity as a conventional and clean energy powerhouse. In addition to you know, a really unique under our storage capacity, our innovators, as well as our CCUS um, investment tax, we really do have the right environment for CCUS development. There will be a strong focus on industrial decarbonization uh, through carbon upcycling, for example, leading the charge in CO2 from cement and also steel production, transforming uh, waste into energy. So really turning emissions into assets, if you will. There's also really a really strong push uh, toward infrastructure investment. And companies like Technique and Worley are, are really bringing deep expertise in both engineering and project delivery to them. We're extremely thrilled that we have representatives from you know, all five Nordic countries. We have representatives from South Korea and the US and of course Canada. This convention really plays a central role in convening the entire um, ecosystem to come together and discuss the issues that matter the most. This year's program dives into policy discussions around what's happening south of the border and what is Canada's opportunity. We'll also look at breaking barriers and scaling up domestic manufacturing, uh, the role of the uh, carbon markets and CCUF, and importantly, AI and digitalization. What's the use case for data centers? It's clear that this year's program is about action rather than ideas. So we look forward to seeing everyone in Edmonton on September the 23rd to the 25th.